Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome to another video by Trim Vegan and Frodo. I know it's a little bit noisy, but I have the mic out. Hopefully, you're hearing me pretty well. I'll actually hold it, hey, so it's like right next to me. There's heaps of people here, but we're in Amsterdam, and there's heaps of people everywhere. I did not realize how busy it would be. Oh my god, some people are so noisy. <laughs> and that's usually me. <laughs> I'm the noisy one, usually. So we're at the bottom of the 360 at a, a, a dam, or oh, Adam, or oh, I look out. But we didn't go upstairs. I just was feeling sitting down and chilling a little bit. The sun set it absolutely beautiful. You can't quite, like it's actually not, the sun's not down yet. It's just started to come down. The sun goes down around 9.20 here, PM, which is again, brilliant. We're gonna have so much time riding. This is the view, sort of. Right now, there's the sun, so it's still pretty high up, and it's after seven. Actually, those containers is um, like inside of them. There are videos on recycling and rubbish and plastic and things like that, because nowhere, just like other Scandinavian countries, are very, very focused on the renewables and wanting to move towards renewables. So by 2025, for example, they would want to replace all of their cars with Teslas. And most of, if not all of their um, taxi cars are now Teslas at the moment. So that's pretty, pretty cool. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk to you in this video about my, basically getting to the airport in Oslo and then flying over to Amsterdam and then getting into the mainland city of Amsterdam from the airport. So I, in the morning, my flight was at 8.20, so I ended up wanting to, hopefully you don't mind the sliding, you have like nice sky and you see some sun on me. <laughs> <laughs> basically my flight was at 20 so I wanted to arrive a couple of hours beforehand to make sure that everything would run smoothly like in Croatia for example uh, uh, not Croatia I keep calling it Croatia <laughs> in Budapest in Budapest Hungary um, I arrived fairly early like three hours or something beforehand to the airport but the um, it took like an hour until I could actually, I was, I was literally sitting there waiting for my bug box to get picked up by people, which was insanity because like who is even waiting that long ever? <laughs> Usually you just drop it off to like a special area and it gets taken, you know, check, either like it gets looked at or it just kind of passes through as they check it, like as it can. Right, so like I had to wait like for ages like they're just sitting there. That was in Budapest. Budapest, right? I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm just calling it the Russian way. Anyway, anyway. So in Oslo, so you can catch the bus or the train. There's quite depending on where you're staying. I was staying in Kolbotten, which is just a tiny bit outside of Oslo, maybe like 15 k's south. Yeah. So I uh, usually there is a train, but right now there are some renovations on the train lines in that area. So I would have had to catch the bus. Alternatively, you can catch a taxi just kind of within the 15 k radius to Central Station. And from Central, you then already can get the um, express train to the airport. There used to be three airports in Oslo, but they shut one down when Ryanair stopped flying there. They're in the process of shutting the other one down because not many airlines are flying to it. So fairly soon there's only going to be one airport in Oslo and it's basically the one that you'll be catching your express train to. The price is 190 You can pay by card or cash, 190 uh, Kronas, Norwegian Kronas, which is like, let's just kind of round it up. It's about 20 euros, maybe 25 Australian dollars. So that's kind of more or less the price. In regards to the taxi, so you can either get the taxi or you can get the bus. The bus is not too expensive. It's about maybe 70 Kronas, so 55 if you go with the app. And that costs, yeah, like, yeah, so that basically takes you to the central station. From there, you can get the train. I just was lucky enough that I could get dropped off to the central station, but the taxi and the taxi costs about what was it like? F I want to say forty pounds. It's something pretty pricey, in fact. So I think either the bus or the train would be the best, and it's forty pounds to the central station, not to the actual airport. Anyway, I feel like I said station too many times in one sentence now. <laughs> 
<laughs> in a small period of time. Anyway, the bike box, I get a quite a few questions of actually people asking me where do you get the bike box. I get it just from any bike shop I can find in the area, in whatever country, whatever city I'm in. I just walk in and ask for it. The bike box that I got in Oslo was significantly bigger than the one I got in Tokyo and it just made my life so much better, so much easier to just for everything and <laughs> What, what, why? But at the same time, you got to remember, the bigger the box, the heavier it's going to be. It's not going to be excessively heavy, but it's going to be a little bit heavier. And because it is heavier, like you need to watch out for your checked in luggage weight. So I was flying with SES, Scandinavian Airlines, to down to Amsterdam from Oslo. And the checked in luggage was only 20 kilos. And you have to, have to register uh, online before you check in saying that your checked in luggage will be sports equipment. So that's something that's very important to do. Otherwise, you know, they can charge you extra at the airport and it's just like an excess hustle. And I, I learned about that and I knew that I did not want any kind of dramas <laughs> over in Norway. So I just did that. So do that if you're flying with SAS. Anywhere, not just just anywhere in Europe or anywhere really with SAS. Anyway, it was 20 kilos so I actually had to like get some stuff out of my checked in, put it in my carry-on. They kind of complain about my yogurt so I drunk it straight away. <laughs> there was no issues. I was uh, really hungry at the time. Also, like, I actually found really, really good vegan food in Norway. Like it's maybe I haven't shopped too much and haven't like gone to but no, I went to a couple of restaurants that were vegan. I, ha I haven't tried vegan mints, a couple of which vegan patties. I've had vegan yogurt most of the time. I was having soy milk. I've had some pretty sweet food in Oslo that was vegan. In Norway, actually, not just Oslo, in Norway. Anyway, right, so that was the flight in. And I got the box, yeah, and obviously you get the tape. So you can tape up your box and it fits. You have either the car that fits it or you just you know carry drag it and one of these days we'll invent we'll invent a little trolley thing that's portable and you can just quickly chuck your bag box on the trolley bam bam take it to the airport no worries easy to move around so anyway it's all pretty nice pretty sweet very fairly quick it's like about 20 minutes from center to the airport and when i got into amsterdam it actually I ended up waiting for quite a while to actually get my box so I got just a tiny bit concerned but not quite I like I kind of was holding it inside of me that I was just like no it will have an, it'll be fine it's just somewhere here so yeah they just for some reason forgot to unload it so it was just sitting there by the gate they didn't pick it up when they were unloading it so it took them maybe an hour and a half until they actually gave it to me after like the flight has arrived and everyone got their luggage which is fine. You know, the important thing is I got the bike, I got all the stuff, and that's all that is. That's all the drama. <laughs> that's all that matters. And, yeah, no. There you go. Is it better? <laughs> and, all right. So we got in, we built the bike, and basically I rode to the center of Amsterdam from the airport. That is not an issue at all. There is a bikeway all the way. The drivers, a few drivers, uh, were quite annoyed around the airport while I was got quite annoyed while I was trying to find the right way which is you know they probably get annoyed with so many cyclists everywhere <laughs> so I wasn't taking it personally so I just yeah I was able to ride it and it's about maybe 10 k's to that I am Amsterdam, Amsterdam sign you know basically center of Amsterdam pretty easy pretty quick pretty smooth signs everywhere a really really cool thing i like so far is the bridges because there's so many channels here the bridges just come apart they're like you have to like stand there and wait like which can be annoying but i just thought it was really really cool because i know of that in um happening in what's it called st petersburg i know st petersburg they do like the whole bridge just come apart and come back you know together when boats come under but there's so many channels here and the bridges are just so low that it's yeah it's really it's really cool i really really liked it and another thing that i loved is the architecture i just i thought it was absolutely stunning it's so 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 pretty seriously the 
houses are like I, I don't know even how to like describe it they just look very beautiful very like architectural very I'm just like kind of keeping an eye out on uh, my bike it's just over there I know it's like causing me distracting anyway yeah so they're just like so cute they're almost like you can call them gingerbread houses and some of them are just really remind me of like I don't know the architecture back in that like renaissance renaissance I think is the right period of time all the stuff all the other stuff Amsterdam is famous for the um, you know the legalized prostitution and drugs <laughs> some drugs that kind of tensed me up a little bit I thought I'd be chilled about it I'm not judgmental whatsoever but I'm just not feeling that sort of vibe so I, I, I did walk through that kind of area where like there's you know shop on top of shop selling that type of stuff and loads of little rooms with um, girls in them basically and they have those little red lights outside and that's how you know that's uh, you know that's that type of uh, room so they're kind of I don't know like I'm not judgmental at all or anything but it just kind of weirded me out a little bit so I think in that regard it's not quite uh, <laughs> the, the attraction <laughs> for me of the city but I like the architecture I like the channels that's very pretty there's loads of bridges I would love to go back to Venice as well. I've been to Venice and I think that is beautiful, although you can't really bring your bike. <laughs> you can't really bike, you can't cycle in Venice. It's all foot or boats over there. Anyway, that is how that went. <laughs> Moral of the story, you can cycle from Amsterdam airport to city centre. No worries, it's really quick. It maybe takes about half an hour or 40 minutes max if you like include all the stopping and all that for traffic lights and traffic. It's quite a lot of bikes, quite a lot of bikes. The um, weather right now is beautiful. The, all of the bike boxes I get are free. They're always from some bike shop. They're checking one out in some country, some city in the world. So do not be afraid, just go in and ask it's allowed <laughs> in fact they are grateful in Japan they were so grateful that uh, you know someone was taking these boxes because they actually have to pay to get rid of their rubbish there so people are just happy that you take their rubbish because for them it's rubbish and yeah just make sure you have plenty of time before you fly out but we won't be flying for a while now for a few more weeks like we're like just going to be cycling on and on on and having like a day to a break maybe here and there just to check out the different places that we're biking past and yeah let's uh the european mainland europe part of the tour 2018 begin hope you're having a beautiful wonderful day peeps and this video hopefully it was helpful and valuable to someone or one way or another you know got you some ideas some thinking I am just going to chill here for a bit. I have spoke to one shower's host who, with the kindest kindness in their heart, wanted, allow, well, invited me to stay at the house today. So I'll be doing that. And I will see you guys soon. See you in the vlogs and see you on the road. See you in the next chat video. And hope you're having. An amazing day. Remember to stop counting calories, start counting hills, count your adventures, count your passions. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for checking in. Bye.